Welcome to my simplified React.js course. And yes, I am finally making a course on React. I have made several videos on React in the past on my channel, but in this course, I'm going to be making a new set of videos, which I'm going to put in a certain order that can help you move from being a beginner in React to a professional. React is one of the most popular framework nowadays for building web applications. And this framework is built on top of JavaScript. And in the last couple of years, React along with many other frameworks has really transformed how some developers like myself approach building web applications. Also, if you're looking for jobs around front-end development, oftentimes you would see experience with React as a requirement. Also, a lot of websites today, social media platforms, streaming platforms, they use React. Either they use React directly or they're using frameworks like Next.js, Gatsby, Remix, and the rest. Well, all of these frameworks are built on top of React. So in your career in tech, having a good understanding of React and knowing how to use react to build applications can be really beneficial so whether you're somebody who hasn't tried react before or you are a newbie in react whatever level you are there is a lot you can learn from this course of course in this course i'm going to be showing you how to use react to build projects but that is not the only goal of this course another goal of this course is to also help you have a deeper understanding of the fundamentals of React. Now, what do you need to get the most out of this course? Number one, I would expect that you have a good understanding of the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And I made a video a few days ago where I talked about some fundamental concepts you should know in JavaScript before moving to React. I'd leave a link to that video in the video description. You can check it out and hopefully that can prepare you better for this course. Another requirement is to have Node.js installed on your device. So if you head to the Node.js website, whether you're using Windows, Linux, Mac OS, you can download any of these versions here. And downloading Node.js also comes with NPM installed on your device. I'm going to be using NPM in this course to download packages, or you can use other package managers like YAN, PNPM, or whatever. But in this course, I'm going to be using NPM. Another thing you need to follow along with this course is a code editor. Here I have VS Code, which I'll be using for this course, where you can use any code editor of your choice. The important thing is to practice as you are going through this course because practicing is the best way you can learn and those are basically the basic requirements for us to get started now more about this course this course is going to be what I call a continuous series course on my channel so it's going to be a series of videos where I cover different topics in react props states global states react hooks styling your components and of course we'll be building projects so this is going to be one video after the other and it's going to be on a playlist on my my channel here. If you'd love to learn more about this course, you can head on to simplereactjs.com. I'm going to fill in more details there. Intros for courses are usually hard to make, but I have come to the end of this intro video. You're going to learn a lot from this course. I'm going to make it as beginner friendly as possible. I'm going to simplify different concepts, which will give you a very good understanding of React. Let's head on to the next lesson where we set up our React environment.